welcome back to my channel learn at cloud analytics in any data transformation scenario there are some transformations that cannot be done with the use of this power query editor so for these particular requirements where we are not able to perform the required transformations using the gui which is the power query editor uh, then we can use another alternative uh, in order to achieve this which is the m language so the m language is the data transformation language of power query so whatever that we do within this power query is ultimately written in m behind the scenes so if you see here i have connected to a data set called orders table and there are some default steps that have been applied within my power query editor now if i wanted to do some advanced transformations i can simply go to this advanced editor and that would generate a default template of the existing uh, uh, data. So this is my M code or this is my M language. So this is a programming language and this is the structure of how we would need to write this M language as per our requirement. And this does include several functions that can be included as per our requirement. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview or an introduction of this M language where M is a programming language that would help us to power the Power Query Engine. And it stands for Mashup. That's a, uh, so because uh, in Power Query Editor, the main purpose of using this is to perform the required extract, transformation, and load process, which is nothing but the ETL uh, transactions or the transformations. So for this purpose, the M code or the M language is also doing the same purpose because whatever we're trying to do with the help of this Power Query Editor by selecting the required options, uh, what you can see on this particular ribbon, everything behind the scenes has been transformed or converted into a M language. And that is how we can make some advanced transformations by making use of this programming language uh, window and inserting some additional functions that have been provided from Microsoft Power BI. So if you notice here the code that has been generated by default, so we have not written anything within this particular uh, uh, editor window, but the Power BI has been able to replicate all the steps that has been uh, taken while we've connected to that particular data source and uh, those steps have been translated into a code that has been generated by default. Now let's try to understand how do we uh, interpret this particular uh, code and how can we customize it for our requirement. So the M code or this particular uh, language has two main uh, constructors or uh, two main keywords. The first one is the let. So any code that begins with this particular uh, uh, code that would always begin with this let code. Or the let function so within this we embed the required transformations that we would like to apply on top of the given data set now if i have to interpret to how this has been converted as this i can just show it to you so whatever steps that we see in this applied steps section on my power query editor all those steps have been captured within my m query as well right so the first step that you see within my applied steps is the source connection right so in my m query you could see that first we are defining like from where did we connect to that particular source so the source so this is my variable which has been allocated or assigned to the value called so this is my excel workbook so excel dot workbook so this is my object and the location from where i have uh, uh, inserted this data set or brought into Power BI is this particular location. And this is my name of the file. And this is the null and true, which means that this particular data set does hold some null values being captured. The second line of the code is stating that what is my table name, right? So if you observe here, So this is my uh, table 
and it is referencing to my previous step so if you notice so these are the sequential steps right so what has been so what has been captured within my applied steps so these are the sequential steps that have been captured as we uh, make any transformations based on the requirement on the data set now similarly in the m language every step has been sequentially captured in every line separately so the second line is stating that it is the navigation. So what it is navigating to? So it is navigating to this particular previous step of orders table. And within that, it is trying to retrieve the or display the data as the content. Now the third step that we see here, which is also the default transformation provided or had been performed by Power Query Editor is the data types that it has been identified and translated that into the required data types now that has been captured within the variable name called change type as we see in this particular applied step and within that it is capturing that okay it is doing this uh, since it is trying to convert the uh, original data column data types into the necessary data types as per the values within the column so it is using a function called table dot transform column types and within that there are uh, certain arguments being included which is the previous step so uh, so what is this uh, table being referenced to so it is referencing to the previous step so the previous step has been allocated or assigned to this particular variable so that variable has been called back in this particular expression followed by so this is the key key value pair uh, indication so this is like inserted within a list so that holds the combination of both the column name and the value within it like right? so here the value is the data type right so it is saying that so the first column should be of the type text similarly the second column should be of uh, type text and so on and so forth now every line that has been uh, sequentially performed in the back end are been separated by a comma because it is a programming language right so the syntax has to be intact and once uh, this uh, transformation has been complete it is followed by the in and we are calling out or we are returning the value as change type so what are we ref uh, so after the data uh, the column the data type transformation has been completed what data set or what data should it be uh, reproduced or what data set it should uh, populate on my power query editor so that is my previous step so this is my last step what we had performed and that is where we are returning it because i wanted to see after the data type transformation what is my resultant data so that is exactly my previous step variable name so this is the structure of how you can uh, write your M code within your Power Query editor for any advanced transformations that is not possible or that is not convenient to do that from the direct Power Query editor UI. Okay, so this is just an introduction to what is meant by an M query and why do we need to use this M query language and how uh, important is to uh, introduce or have it uh, being included in our day-to-day -day transformations that is needed. So in the next video, I'm going to explain you about a real-time scenario where we actually implement this mQuery uh, language to make some transformations on top of our data set. Okay, so this is about this introduction video. So talk to you again in the next video. Thank you.